So I came down to this conclusion in my life and I said to myself, you know what, I need a good t-shirt for an everyday fit, maybe for an active wear, or maybe just for like an undershirt type of purpose. Depending on what I'm wearing that day, there's a various collections of shirts that you guys need to know about. So it's gonna be a little different than anything you've ever seen. The first thing we're gonna be talking about is fit, texture, wearability, and then we're gonna talk about a wrinkle test. Let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arc Way, a new direction of a modern man. My name is Mr. Lou, and today we're looking at the best white t-shirts. First thing we're gonna be talking about is fit, texture, wearability, and then we're gonna talk about a wrinkle test. I'm gonna get into this video for you guys. I'm gonna basically wear the shirt and tell you guys how it feels and we're gonna go down through the list, knocking them off the board. First shirt I have off the rack is from Simon's. This is a medium. It is tight around the arms. I gotta say that off the bat. So around my biceps here, it's snug. Like I barely have room to even breathe. It just feels like elastic bands is wrapped around my arms. That's what it feels like. Around the chest, it is a little tight around here, the pectoris. But when it coming down to my torso, it is a little looser along the frame here. It's a little constructed around my armpits here and I don't like that feeling. I like the feeling of it being a little bit looser, but I can feel a lot of the, the material right under my armpit. So for this, the type of wearability I wear for this t-shirt will typically be probably like under a bomber or, or under like a long sleeve shirt. Like this is the type of shirt I'll probably wear something over top of it because I don't really feel like this is something I would typically wear uh, loosey goosey just like with a pair of jeans um, typically for me if it's a little tighter around my body then I'll typically wear something over it most wrinkles on this does stay in the same position it doesn't really get away from like being wrinkle free or maybe you come across shirts that say iron free this one still has numerous wrinkles the next shirt I have right here is from top man and top man has a nice quality of shirts this one ranges for $15 in the white shirt so I'm gonna throw this on and see what this feels like the fit of this shirt is very comfortable. It actually have a lot more room to breathe. To me, this is like the best shirt so far. The fit of this actually gives me a lot more room. It's a lot more comfortable. It's a lot more of my style. So this is the type of shirt I would definitely wear with a pair of jeans or wear some shorts. Maybe go to the beach. You can even wear this with a blazer over top. And this is something I feel a lot more comfortable and it's a lot more breathable all around. It didn't state that it was organic or not with top men. It's just, let's just call it cotton. Um, the fit of it is quite close to organic, but it feels quite nice on the skin, around the arms and shoulders. It's not constrained like before. The wearability of this, like I just mentioned, wear it with a blazer, wear, wear it with some shorts to the beach. This is a good basic white shirt. This is something I'll keep in my essentials in my closet in rotation. So this is something you guys should acquire. And now I'm gonna do the wrinkle test with this. So I'm just gonna scrunch it up. Just like before, you're gonna get some wrinkles, but some of it doesn't carry on until it's like undone completely. All around, this is a good shirt. This is a decent shirt in my opinion. This is a shirt from Totman. So this ranges for $15. So next shirt is from Muji. So this one right here, it was two for 15 bucks. So that's a good deal on the price mark. But let's just check out the quality of this Muji shirt. This is actually a large. All around, the fit is very similar to Totman, which I had on before. But all in all, it's not, it doesn't suffocate me on the arms, so that is good. The shirt, they, I can't see, I can't feel any difference, to be honest with you. This is, states that it's 20% uh, 20, 20 polyester and then 80% cotton. Um, I can't honestly feel the difference between both of them, but maybe if I switch over to the top, man, I'll feel slight, but it doesn't bother me at this point in time. Um, I completely am fine with this wearability of this this is something i would consider for me more or less the undershirt so when it comes down to the wrinkle test for this i noticed when i did put it on it did have this weird clump around there and i noticed maybe it's just maybe it's just based on like lasting stain or something but let, let me just see something let me just scrunch it up it's not as bad as some shirts you've seen before but i noticed it does have this weird clumping around the shirt and you know what it has like these clumps of like these waves of clumps in your shirt. That's what it actually is kind of showing right now. And it's kind of weird, but but hey, it's, a, it's all right for what it is. Here is from Uniqlo. This goes for $9, let's call it $10. It just goes for $10. And it kind of feels like the first shirt ever I put on. 
So it kind of it is like it's honestly like the same. What like what is this one? Simon's. Yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like that. It's actually tight around the arms again. Yet again, this is typically would be worn as like an undershirt, but the 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 fit of this is snug. It's a little looser around the torso actually. Uh, the pectoris is a little looser here, but yet again, the arms, something about a, a t-shirt that tucks around my arms, it really bothers me. I'm not sure why, but it just, I just don't like that feeling. I like to have a feeling of feeling a little bit loose. But it states that it's cotton. Um, I do believe there's a little last stain in here because I can just tell by the pull of it sometimes, but so it's not too bad. I like it, the textile wise. So the wearability of this, so when it comes down to this wrinkle test, I'm gonna scrunch this up a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's nice. The wrinkles actually fade out pretty well with this shirt, which is quite surprising because a lot of shirts I did test before actually leaves a lot more wrinkles than before. If you're looking for a shirt that actually has very smooth look to it, and then you don't you want to stress about it getting wrinkled so much, maybe go for this type of shirt. It might work for you. And just keep in mind with any shirts that I do demo here, there's different purposes for different shirts. So don't assume that this one shirt is best for any type of purpose, like going to the gym, maybe you need an undershirt, a uh, t-shirt for a wedding, or you just maybe going out for lunch, the girlfriend, it doesn't matter. But at the end of the day, every shirt has a different purpose. So I won't categorize this as an all around best shirt, but they're all meant for different things. So the next shirt I have right here is from Banana Republic. It is a size medium, so I'm gonna throw this on. This actually feels more in between where it was loose, but at the same time, it has a balance of being tight. So it's a good combination where you find this t-shirt right here, Banana Republic, in a happy medium. Uh, for me, around the shoulders, it's a little looser than before. So you guys know before, like I don't like tightness on the shirts, and this one actually provides a little bit more loose feel to it. Around the torso, it comes off, but it's like a slim fit look. This is 100% cotton. This is in a medium. So Banana Republic, I put this at a high regard regarding probably the second best t-shirt that I like out of this collection. This type of wearability for the shirt would be probably be for any type of occasion, to be honest with you. Like this is something that I'll keep as my essentials. The next shirt I have is a H&M long fit shirt. So it does have a little bit of a scoop here at the bottom, just to show you guys. Just to show you guys that scoop, scoop. It is the Jersey basic shirt. It goes for $12.99. This shirt right here has a scoop, like I just showed you guys before. So this is the type of shirt that actually fits pretty well. If you're more of an active type, if you're more of a lifestyle, outdoors type of person, but you wanna kick it in with a little bit of style. If you're not on the trendy side of things and you just want something that maybe a little different than the rest, because it is a scoop and that had a fad, but who knows, it could be coming back within a eight year cycle. Scoop. But for this shirt all around, the fit of it is quite nice. I don't mind it at all. It's actually a good mix in between slim fit and fitted. And this actually is nice around the torso. I can't complain. It's a nice narrow cut. It's kind of like a little bit tailored fitted in a sense. But this is all around a nice lifestyle type of t-shirt with a modern twist to it with a scoop. And um, yeah, I like this at, at the end of the day. It's not a bad shirt, I like it. Okay, so this shirt I have on is from H&M. It is the premium cotton shirt. This actually goes for $19.99. This shirt off the bat is tight. Like, it's super tight. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I shouldn't have got the small, but I did get the small. But I can see where it can like go from here. So if I emulated from what I had before, the medium's not gonna fit too much in it. The medium's not gonna fit that much different than this based on how this feels already. So the fit of this is quite tight all around. It's suffocating me. This is something that I probably won't even wear to be honest, because it's just so uncomfortable around the arms. But if you do like your shirts tight, then boom, get yourself a premium cotton shirt from H&M for $19.99. If that's not your budget, then you can go into something a little more different from the selection I provided you guys with. But also when it comes down to texture, texture, is this is probably the best texture I had out of all the shirts so far, so that's the plus side. So for the price point of this shirt, it is 19, 19 
Um, so based on quality of this shirt, it is premium quality cotton. So you're gonna get the best texture of all these shirts combined. So this texture wise is does feel amazing. I can't lie about that. But just when it comes down to the fit, it is really tight. But keep in mind, I am wearing a small. So if I emulate that and I go into the other shirts, if this was a medium or possibly a larger would actually work for me. But if this is the medium, it still might be a little too tight for me. So in that regards, I have to dismiss this from the collection. Even though I do love the texture of this, I won't justify this for buying for $19.99. But for someone who does like these quality type of shirts, all means go for it. So here is the regular fit shirt from H&M. We're going for $7.99. The fit of this is amazing. I don't feel constraint around my arms. The torso is loose enough, but at the same time is breathable. And the all around feel of this does not hurt the pocket price wise. And it does not hurt my body in a sense of being suffocated in. So when it comes down to this shirt, I think this is one of my, probably my fourth best shirt on this list here. Um, I'm not talking just about the price, I'm talking about the quality of the shirt altogether based on what I put on and how I feel about it. So, so first thing first, the fit of it is good. What I just covered, the texture wise, it is quite soft. It is 100% cotton. I don't see much difference I don't see much difference beyond the premium quality cotton of the other previous H&M shirt for $19.99 that did feel a, a, like a crazy difference in. So this shirt is close close to the bar. Um, the next thing I'll get into is the wearability of this. Is This is the everyday shirt off the bat. You wear it anywhere you go. If you need a white shirt, just throw this on, it's there for you. The wrinkle test, which I'm gonna do and demonstrate here. So I'm just gonna wrinkle up a little bit. Up. The wrinkle test isn't too bad on this shirt. I do enjoy what it looks like and how it feels. Um, it doesn't have a lot of crazy lines into it. Like it did happen with a few of these, especially with the wave patterns. So this is probably one of the best shirts out of the bunch. So guys, just to wrap it all up, I'm gonna just tell you guys the best t-shirts that I feel fit for my liking. The first one I'll go for is the Top Man. It is in the large, and that goes for $15. The second one I recommend is the Banana Republic. I got on sale for $10, retails about $30. And then the third will be the H&M Long Shirt. That's, that is going for $12.99. And then the fourth one would be the Basic Standard Shirt, which I have on right now from H&M, going for $7.99. So those are actually my top four favorite white tees out of the whole collection here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate the love and support. Almost forgot. The question of the day guys is, what type of white shirt have you owned in the past and what type of white shirt do you guys recommend? I wanna know what you guys thoughts are on based on white shirts and your experiences. I'll put it in the comment section down below. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification button so you get notified on the latest updates that I will drop. There we go. Yet again, you guys are watching Arcway, a new direction of the modern man. And my name is Mr. Lou, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.